And now we are pleased to bring you Cut the Reacts. Six. I haven't seen it yet. My son seen it. It's been on the game. I didn't want to see it because I wanted to wait to hear. But they right. were talking a lot about it. So now I'm about to see what it looked like. Let's okay. get into it. Oh, 18 plus. Thank it's you. Rated it's rated R. 18 plus. It's always been rated R, but the kids always play it. <laughs> Yo, get my. God, y'all not 18. Y'all can't play this. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Came in through the back door. Hey, yo. Kenny. Don't, don't trust, trust anyone. You stop that? Yeah, this is not a, a movie trailer, so you ain't got to worry about that. All right. yeah, go ahead. But no, but I did really have a question. It wasn't like a fake stop. Was it Do anybody <laughs> really pay? Yeah, I really had a question. I, I did want to get people mad because I was going to wait till the zero, zero, zero stop it when everybody's waiting for what's about to happen type shit. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. do anybody really pay? So I, it might be me, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But there's a lot of Call of Duty started with Call of Duty. Then we yeah. went into Black Ops. Then we went into Warzone. Then we went into Ghost Recon. All these different type of shits. Yeah. Am I the only one that gets confused? Because this is like Black Ops 6. I don't so, be knowing what I'm playing sometimes. I just be fucking playing. So the way they do Call of Duty, there's three, there's three different companies. Sledgehammer, oh. Activision, and and I forgot the last one. Infinity Ward, right? Mm -hmm. And they make they each got their specials. And I forgot who makes Black Ops, mm -hmm. but Modern Warfare is by Infinity Ward. Okay. Um, Sledgehammer, I believe, makes Black Ops ones. And Infinity Ward... I don't know, but anyway, but you get the idea. Each one makes yeah. one. That way they can put out a game every year because it takes longer than a year to make a Call of Duty. So what they do, they got two to three year cycles where they can rotate who makes what. And that's why Modern Warfare be one way, Black Ops be one way because it so be different developers. What's the, what's, the, what's the difference, you would say, in the Call of Duty Black Ops and then the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which everybody's playing right now? It's de developed totally different developers. They got like kind of the same baseline, but totally different developers. You know what I'm saying? That's like 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 for example, like 2K. You got people that that make NBA 2K, and you got people that make like the tennis, right? Mm -hmm. Two different developers, but they sit from the same company in a sense, right? So they they kind of work together. Oh, you gonna put your game out this time? I'm put my game out that time. But in this case, they're making the same game, so they have the same baseline. But each game is dramatically different as far as how they do stuff. All right, so um, chat, y'all got it, y'all heard it. You know, that's the difference. Oh, yeah, Treyarch. It was Treyarch. It was Treyarch. Treyarch, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is, last question is, because you you the guru right now, Um, is Warzone only for, Warzone is not for Black Ops. Warzone is only for what Wolf, um, the other one. No, that's not true because the, the way they had, they didn't, whatever deal they made, Every oh, new no, Call of Duty, Black Ops. I'm bugging. yeah, as I'm saying, every bugging. new Call of Duty they come out, they implement something from the new game into the Warzone. Warzone is just kind of its own ent entity, but okay. people are like, but they'll port something from the game. So like, whether it be the weapons, part of the board, something, you okay. know, yeah, to make it, yeah, the characters or whatever the characters. case may be. Yeah, so they'll All do something right. like that. But All yeah, right. Treyarch makes Black Ops. He's, he's right. Treyarch makes Black Ops. Well, they go y'all history on that. All right, you can play it now. Good evening. The Soviet Union is no more. Despite a potential for instability and chaos, these events clearly serve our national interest. Free from the specter of global conflict. <laughs> Today we celebrate the... All right, I do got a question. Has anybody ever played a Call of Duty uh, storyline? time ago bro i think that's when they let you play together i think bash i think we did that shit. yeah yeah we did i played the yeah. call of duty i play uh two storylines okay. and we did the zombie it's, joint the storylines be fire if you into single player games like that but yeah. for the most part 
um everybody just buys it and goes to either straight to the zombies or multiplayer but the storylines is really where they, they do their bread and butter because yeah. that develops all the characters and why the gun they have those type of guns inside the game which is fire but you got to be a, one of them people that actually like i know i only played a few storylines like i might play maybe 20 minutes of the storyline then i'm over it i'll go right yeah. to multiplayer i hate playing games by myself you got to be somebody that don't have walls. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no walls, you you going to be playing by yourself. Bro. Yeah, bro. If you ain't got friends, you playing the storyline. Oh, I, I, I was about to say, what do you mean by walls? No, no, no. Yeah. Right, right, That's right. That's how they crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Those these for loners. If you're a loner, you can play in a storyline. All loners play storylines. Yeah, I got you. The mystery of American renewal. Something's going on. Big. I'm a fire starter. To fire starter. I figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? I'm a fire starter. To fire starter. The agency is compromised. But being hunted from the inside. Trust me, Marshal. But it might be better if you do. Hey! There's something you should see. What the hell are we getting into? <laughs> Don't trust anyone. black site are you out of your mind things got complicated that actually is fire may god continue to bless the united states of america Yeah, that's actually fire. That I mean, I've seen fire. this already, but yeah, this is fire still. Yeah, I don't know why people talking about it. This shit was tough. That was tough. Hold like on, people movie, saying bro. negative stuff about it? No, I'm saying I see why people talking good about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like a mini movie, bro. Like that that's different. Yeah, they could have made that shit as a movie the way that shit was looking just now. Yeah, that ain't hidden. Um, M said I'm 18, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody else said something good up there. Who was it? Let me let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Man, yeah. Most people don't know you get XP and other things from the campaign. Yeah. Good advice. <clears throat> Cause I didn't know you get separate shit from the campaign. Yeah. Yo, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. So I, I'm not gonna cap. I didn't see this trailer, but I seen a couple of other videos based on the mechanics of the game. Cause uh, they revamping how to movement. Cause Call of Duty's been kind of the same for years now. The only the only major change was like I think one of the minor warfare ones where you could run on walls and stuff like that, and people didn't like that. But that was the last time they made a major change for Call of Duty. But now they're going back and they're like, all right, we got a new gen. Let's make some change. So now they're making like complete overhaul on how you move, and they added like regions where you could get shot and you, how you react to when you get shot now. So now not only can you just move forward back. Like, you know, before you can only sprint forward. Remember, like, everybody knows that you can only sprint forward. Now you can sprint sideways. You can sprint backwards, whatever. You could dive to the side. You could dive to, you could dive back and shoot while you're diving back. Those are the mechanics. Shit. All right. Yeah, they, they're adding different mechanics in them, which is going to be crazy for Call of Duty. Oh, man. Y'all going to be complaining all year, <laughs> man. Oh, Probably. Man. Probably. Oh, 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 bro, I think going crazy oh, today. Somebody slid <laughs> and dropped and shot no. me. I'm like, what the fuck? He's going to be like, yo, this game is trash. Mm, Y'all nah. it up. Yeah, I hate if it works, it's just mad man. cheesy, man. Yeah, yeah if bro, it works right, if it works right, it'll be fine. But you know, like, Bash is correct. Yeah. You're gonna be, yeah. Somebody's going to find a, some type of cheese where they're doing a dive and they and then they like dive to the left, right, or glitch or something like that and shoot you. And you be like, yo, Worst game, cheese, PS, PS players is going to be OD with this shit. Bro. Yeah, it's Skin, Skin said the Black Ops games are always movie-based. Yep. 
Yeah, but I mean, listen, because they base it off like the the what seventies and eighties, so they 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 it's always that yeah, time yeah. frame, and so that's why they always use like clips and stuff like that, older clips and stuff like that. But this thing was all over the place. I seen Clinton, so I don't know what time frame this. I seen Clinton, then I seen Bush. I don't know what was going on. So wouldn't it been fire if they would have had like free like uh you know. I mean, this is far fetched, but like Freeway Ricky Ross, that whole contraband oh, that'd thing, and that'd have been kind of fire to have that. That would be more on the World at War. Nah, would it be like a later version of World at War, which is another that'd that fits fire. that like the tropical older yeah, fighting style? Bro. Like, yeah, that would be and more. Then they could have had it like they could have shot out the Freeway Ricky Ross. They could have got him like to do a cameo or him some. I don't know, man. Just thinking like the L, you know, the another storyline type. Yeah, yeah the, the elements of hip you know hip-hop or you know the matter of fact, i ain't gonna say hip-hop the the culture our culture okay. mixed in with call of duty yeah yeah black ops would probably be the only one i could do that because of the time frame it always falls under can't man well, is real yeah can't man will be playing this yeah well let, <laughs> you know let, let, let's, <laughs> let's do it like this and you know m thank you very much because that's exactly where i was leading up to i like to play this I like to have the background behind you know what i'm saying this leads right into bad boys man we're gonna go right into the movie it came out. Let's get into it, y'all. I know. Did we all see it? I did not see it. I did not see it. Nope. You asked but... out. <laughs> you asked out. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can't go cut the cat. <laughs> we have to talk about it now. We can't the wait. The movie came <laughs> out <laughs> Friday, my boy. God, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, Friday. What's today? Today is Wednesday. You know what? We you gotta, gotta talk about it. We gotta. have to. We can't not talk about it. Then we gonna be a week time. late. Uh, can't the be first late. time strategic ever be right, watching a movie. Right, and now right. Bro, you you might want to stop watching the porno <laughs> and start watching the movies. <laughs> oh, you're spending right. a lot of time on Pornhub and you're not you're doing right. your job. You're no one, no spoilers. Time, what is wrong Listen. with y'all? Hold, hold, hold up. For one, ladies and gentlemen, it's bad boys. We've been waiting for this. We've been waiting for this for so many years. And now y'all want to tell me y'all going to give y'all time to go watch it. We've been what waiting all this time. Didn't go see it. Huh? You just about to ruin it for everybody. What if it was so down people couldn't go see it? Yo, this is cut the cap. So we say exactly what's on our mind, right? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yo, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga. I seen it. Look like M seen it. Somebody seen it. You uh, know? So <laughs> if you didn't see it, this might be the part where you might want to go take a bathroom break. Is go take a water break. break. You were bashing it. That's it. I can't go to where I'm a producer. What you mean? Right. Right. Look, look, now you know next time your ass better get to the movie. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Whatever you want to see, it's going to be milk spilled everywhere. Like, Bad boys for life. Yo, I've been waiting to talk about this, man. What the fuck? Yeah, you going to make me wait one more second, God damn it. Um, All right, man. Ahead, man. Bad boys, man. Um, it's going to be a for short the chat, segment. For the chat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if y'all seen it in the chat. How did y'all feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Anybody want to come up here and talk? We got the link. Five gonna throw the link. We gonna say no, we not. No, we not. <laughs> oh, I think it's doing... Yo, this is crazy. He's trying to get in depth. Crazy, bro. He's try... he trying to come get me with two ruin it. That's crazy. All right, no. listen. You gonna talk about it by yourself? <laughs> All right, look. I'm on. I'm... Oh, forget it. Somebody won't talk about it. M said five stars. We talking about it. Nah, I was nah, just I definitely... about to leave this nah, shit alone. Nah, I definitely. My pops. My pops. And them, they, they, they said it was fire. So I, I keep hearing that that's fire. Everybody that I said that I've actually ran into that watched it was said it was fire. It was better than the rest of them. And that's tough. Because we just had this conversation with the rankings. So that's tough. Regardless of what you say, I'm going to go see it anyway. I just didn't want you to spoil it if like somebody dies and not supposed to. Yo, I ain't going to lie, bro. Just because you telling me that now, I hope I tell the whole fucking story. I'm going to ruin this shit so bad for you on Cut the Cap. This is going to be... Oh, Bob's going to hate me forever for this one. Holy shit. Yo. Uh, you ain't got no other topics? Like you yeah. Just know right this. <laughs> <laughs> like, you going Yo, right into this. All right, so, as we, as we spoke about it before, oh, um, last week, we spoke about what we wanted to see in Bad Boys. I well, no, nah, not really. It was when we seen the trailer. We seen the trailer, and we seen certain things that they did, and we was expecting to see. Um, Based upon the movie, I think they held up to expectations on my behalf, and I think they brought back the iconic shots that we did talk about that we did see. Um, This is my top. So, Bash, you want to go first? What by what? Yo, no, don't tell me you're not talking about it. Oh, <laughs> hell. Joseph, where's Joseph at, bro? 
Somebody uh, get Joseph, Joseph AC it, either. Listen, Listen. Alfred, you know we're not gonna do. Right, I got you. I got you. I'll say without spoiling anything. You know what man, I mean? Fuck them, man. It's cut the cap, man. Yo, fuck look, that hold on. Shit. For, here go for Mercury. He said, "Leave it to Glizzy Gladiator to spoil the movie." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just because of that, now I'm really spoiling it. <laughs> fuck you, Mercury. <laughs> I, I I just say this. It was everything I expected it to be, plus more. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Bash is being so nice to y'all. <laughs> He's being so nice. So nice. All right, so look, this is what we're going to do. Without no. spoiling it, let me give the shout outs to certain parts. So okay. the 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 boyfriend, put it like that. Let's go to the boyfriend I heard of Martin's the, daughter. Yeah, the tall dude. Yes, let's yeah. give him a big shout out because he is a Bronx native. He is from the okay. Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. He talking about Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Yeah. Reggie. So one thing I do like about this movie, and this is a great saying, because going through COVID and everything that we've been through, we lost a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of, lot of celebrities during COVID. This movie, we actually got to see every celebrity that was in the old one. They were still alive, they were still healthy, and they didn't have to go get new people to play the roles. And these people, also, they looked like they got that, what, 10-year gap or whatever it was mm-hmm. of age in the movie so reggie as a young kid that was the real reggie from <laughs> reggie there was the real reggie in the new one and yeah. you can see he got older and reggie had a scene that was spectacular he went ape shit they killed that um what else can I say? I don't, I don't want to ruin it for y'all because y'all ain't shit. But I tell you right now, if I get picked on karaoke, oh, y'all so done on my next one. <laughs> <laughs> Kill us out. I'm down a, a week notice. I'm putting out a week notice. Um, no. The wife. Oh, M, the wife was the wife was new. That was not Martin's wife that was in the lobby when he grabbed her in the elevator. See what I'm saying? Thank you, M. Holy shit. That was not her. So the wife was new. But damn, that wife looked like she played in something else with Martin. Talk about her name, Teresa Randall. Oh, you talk about uh, Teresa Randall. That was the original. So that was the original wife. The The new wife is not. Nah, the new wife is the one I love, man, from that movie, man. uh, At the table, man. That's the most infamous scene, bro. That is her. Oh, she's she's a she's an infamous writer. She writes a lot. You talk about her. Yeah, 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 yeah. She played in um. At the table when she sport when she told everything. How did, um, yeah, how, why how they, they get married? married? Yeah, they that why shit. they get married yeah. in a part right there. But she, yeah, yeah. her name's Tasha Smith. Yeah. She is a really yes. good writer, and she's she's involved in a lot of things people don't realize. She writes a lot of stuff she's behind fire. the scenes. She's yeah. super fire. I think that's why probably well maybe I just didn't pick up on it. I don't know if other people picked up on it, but that's probably why it didn't matter because the person they did go with was another great black woman. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her. And um, yo, the movie was great. It was a long movie though, y'all. So if y'all do go see it, get ready to sit in y'all seat for a while. It was a very long movie. I did not expect that movie to be that long. Oh, no, nah, that movie wasn't that long, bro. It was like three hours. What? Oh, heck no, bro. You ain't see what? Three hours. Yo, it was like three hours. My movie started at 9 30 and ended at 12. Nah, it, it, it was about uh, it could have been three hours. It like two hours like and a half, half, some shit like that. It, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Three hours is great. It's, nah, it's two hours and four minutes, so that's what it says. Two hours yeah. and four minutes? Yeah. Bro. yeah oh, then the coming hours. attractions and shit and all that. That's added. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But damn. I mean, it was good. Look, it was good. It was a good movie. Y'all didn't go see Bad Boys. You sit there for three he, he hours. He fell asleep. For three hours. Ready, bro. <laughs> Yo, nah, that shit felt I'm like three. I know I got there at nine, and I was out at 12. I'm you got an hour preview. Right. That's crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> That's tough. An hour preview is just tough, bro. Like, yeah. The previews <laughs> game more danger, man. People you, you must have sat through the credits, too. <laughs> you must have sat through the credits, too. Like, read it every day. Yeah, bro. It's Bad Boys. You can't leave. For the Black Eyed Peas anthem. He sat there. You can't leave for Bad Boys, bro. He was looking for the sequ- I was, was looking, looking for the for funny the Marvel- moments and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was looking oh, for the shit. Marvel secret secret ending at the end and all yeah, that. Bro. Yo, so it was one scene that I do want to talk about. I want to ask, but for people that did see it, or Bash, I'm going to ask you. Bro. M, <laughs> let me ask you, M, because Bash is not speaking, so I'm asking M. This is for M. Yeah. Yo, M, when they was down behind the motherfucking counter, and Martin had to keep slapping Will. Do you think this was done because of the Chris Rock situation? 
and they tried to make a funny out of it because <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck, bro. And he was they slapping the like shit that. out of Will. They would funny. do something like that. You it think? I think. Funny. I think that was a. I think that was one of them things, man. One like of them underlining jokes. Yeah. Um, oh, the movie is on my. You no way, bro. Why are you pirating the movie? No uh, way. I pirate in the movie. Go to the movie, Hancock. Yeah, that's tough. Stephen A. Smith. That's tough. That's Yo, I'm tough. dead. Mm-hmm. All, All right. right. So we're not going we're not gonna ruin it for y'all. Um, don't y'all ever do this shit to me again, though. Y'all better go see the movie when you gotta at least tell us, like, listen, I'm about to talk about then I can watch the bootleg or something. Like, you we'll don't talk. just spur like <laughs> we'll like at the moment. Yeah, like he, he just came out of nowhere, like, yo, um, I'm gonna talk about bad boys. Yeah, because it's the time to talk about bad boys. Shit came out Friday. Yeah, like it's you Wednesday. didn't give everybody a chance to really see it. Yes, like, I like, did, nigga. I gave y'all more than 48 <laughs> hours. What the fuck? Yo, bro, yo, it came out Friday. You had Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's five fucking yo, days. Rob, it's worse bro, than me bro. when like when a when a power what episode come out. Like <laughs> Bro, yo, yo, let me it say be like, something, it man. came out. Let it don't even come out. Man. I watch it at 12 a.m. Like, yo, y'all see the new power. <laughs> if you are a real bad boy fan. You was gonna yeah. go see Bad Boys. You couldn't wait for this shit to come out, bro. Yeah, that's you a know fact. What I'm saying? I but I had, but back. this is also a graduation week for right, me. Right, so right. like, no, yo, bro, man, ain't nothing. New. We ain't got nothing to do with your graduation or your personal life. Oh, Talk about see, Bad Boys. Okay, I heard you. You know what I'm saying? Bad boys over everything. Bad boys you for life. You could have caught the matinee. You could have caught the matinee, bro. You ain't do you ain't that do with the best. nine to five is over, bro. Right, it's right. <laughs> no, you got it, my boy. You probably took off to go see that. That's what happened. I would have. <laughs> I would have. Ah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying? Shit, it yeah. was a gift. Wifey got the gift for me. She was like, we're going to see Bad Boy. We was out. The movie did going? make a lot of money, though. It made, what, 104 right now? 104 million? 104 mil. Shout out to them, man. Shout yeah, out, good, man. Good. shout out to them too. Shout out to Marlon. Lawn. Shout out to Will Smith. Will Smith definitely needed this. This was dope. Uh, yeah, I was about to say that. I wanted to speak on that. So no, I nigga, you ain't see the... the movie. Don't speak on shit. Will, no, 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 Get the fuck out of here. Will, don't you ain't even re... you ain't even support. Now you want to speak on shit. No, I am Get going to support. Out of you here. To ruin it. What, what do you mean? You not supported by ruining man, it? Speak on that shit on your own turf <laughs> when you support. Don't say shit, bitch. Support Listen. first. <laughs> no, what I want to say is, shouts out to this movie doing this well. This is a good bounce back from Will after the, all the incidents because I don't really think he had like a, a a really really successful like he does numbers but a really successful block block a box block, office uh, yeah box office yeah like a box yeah. office sales it is a blockbuster not, yeah yeah blockbuster. so since the whole thing with Chris Rock so yeah. shouts out to him for this bounce back he went back to the basics you know and. And got Martin because Martin was chilling, going through his stuff. Martin's still trying to get, you know, deal with his health issues and stuff like that. Shouts out to them. That was fire. And that um, that alone made me like want to support whether people want to say it's whack or not. It just makes it 10 times better that they say it's fire. That makes me want to see it even more than I already want to see it. But I was going to go see it anyway. I just, my timing didn't, didn't line up. The funny thing you say, son, about that, or about, because I ain't going to spoil you, but I do got to talk something about it. Um, okay. A lot of this looked like, a lot of this stuff that was. It looked like the script might have been updated within okay. time due yeah. to how they narrated Martin's role around his health. Yeah. So instead of putting his health down, they kind of show like he made fun of his health issues. You're like, man, I can't move like stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, and you and you and you can see it. So, um. That was different. I, I would, I want to know. I would love to know when the script was actually written, and how many times was it revised. Go ahead. I think it, it had a, to be prior, prior to a stroke, though, like when they nah, started it. I think it's a mixture of that, though. I don't think yeah. it's just that. It's, it's because Will Smith said something else, though. He said, uh, you know, it, when uh, he said it, when he first got, he said, "We're ninety percent done." He gave a speech about this. Mm-hmm. He said, "We're ninety percent done with Bad Boy," and they said, "Oh, that's good. You're halfway done." And he didn't understand that. Mm. And he's like, hold up. Yeah, you can make an okay movie or you can make a great movie. So he went back and, you know, they, they made sure it was 100%, which means they, you already know, they put that work in exactly what you said. They went and re- did, redid shoots and stuff like that and redid scenes oh, yeah. and all of that. So they actually did that on purpose to make the movie better than just an average movie because 
uh, Will was just promoting that on uh, Carme- Carmelo uh, Anthony's show. He was like, yo, I thought I yeah. had the movie done. 7, 7 p.m. On yeah. Brooklyn. He said, I thought I had it done That's at 90, them. and I didn't have it done. I had to go back. You know, one of my a great mentor, whatever the person is they, to him, let him know. Like, yo, you even want to be great, or you just want to be average? That's yeah. crazy. Um, Stephen A. Smith said that black people shouldn't go see it unless Will apolog- apologizes to Chris. Cap. Cap. Yo, Zach yeah. Stephen A. Smith, do every black person apologize for every fucking thing we do in life? Shut the fuck yeah. up. The fuck is in, if, this is where I start getting into my shit. He coming if back. Was, oh yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. If there was a no, problem no, no, no. between two other main actors of another race, they wouldn't be asking that same qualification. They would support the movie and then say uh-huh. they still need to work that out. Mm-hmm. But we're hypercritical of our own. This is just another example of that. Now, should he apologize? A real apology, not the drink he did. Yes, but it has nothing to do with the movie. Don't tie his success in this movie to his his what happened with um Chris Rock. Chris Rock. That's an entire separate entity. Now you can say I'm not supporting that because until he does X Y Z, but don't tell people that because that's a bias. That's a bias position. You can't do that. Uh, you know what's so crazy? Uh, I mean, I feel like Stephen A. was just riding for his man. Chris 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 Rock is his homie. Okay, his brother, and, that, and he was riding for his boy because I, you know, I watched Chris Rock brother too talk about it on a math Tony. show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tony, yeah. and from his perspective too, I, you know, it's it's t- you're in a tough situation. If somebody slapped you, I would definitely ha- hold a grudge forever. Like it'll be up but you know, till forever. But like, you know what? That's, that's, that's but that's nothing with the movie. Yeah, yeah, I, I would still no. I would still tell people, yo, he ain't right. Yo, he did that. That's corny. Don't go see it. So I would still. Be, I so I understand. I'm not saying it's the correct way of going about it, but I know that Stephen A is very close with. Uh, I would respect that first, though, Hop. You like how you say he did this to my homie. Don't go see the movie. Not say he should apologize before you go see the movie. That's the part where I'm like, come on, that has nothing to do with. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I, yeah, you can go rob him and say it. forget him, or you gonna yeah. be like, all right, this got nothing to do. He with got, you he got to apologize. He got a platform. He said, hey, bro, I ain't rocking with him, and I, this is the reason why. And I ain't gonna lie. I think Will need to go st- slap Stephen A now. <laughs> nah, you know what? I would love <laughs> Stephen to see. Stephen A might swing no, back, though. I ain't gonna listen, for the culture, I would love to see. For uh, for us, for all of us, I would like to see Chris Rock and Will Smith just, you know what I mean, hash it out. Because remember, Tony was really cool with Will Smith. Like, to Will, yeah. Tony he, was he, working he on for that. Will Smith. You he know what I mean? So on that, on that when the family I, I, feud... You know the rules. Nobody wins, so yep. it's kind of whack right now. A lot of people rock with Chris Rock, and a lot of people rock with Will Smith. So it's you yeah. got people, even actors. Like I got some on Cap or No Cap coming up. Certain actors still talking bad about Will Smith because mm-hmm. they, you already know they got. It's kind of like they got to pick a side or something like yeah, that. Like yeah, damn. Yep, yep. It is what it is. All right, um, let's move on. Bad Boys for Life. Go see it. It's a great, um, great movie. Great movie. I'm. If you ask me. Out of ten, what would it be? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna get that. Yo, I love bad boy. I'm a bad boys fanatic. I think this was better than. I think this was better than bad boys one. I'm gonna say it. Ooh, I hey, you're not the first person I heard say I, that and, too. And I said nothing could be better than the originated bad boy one, but I think this was better. So, no, but but hold on. I mean, I picked two over one. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. No, for for yeah. me, it would have to be better than bad boys two. Yeah, to me, so, this, this is the yeah. best one. And okay. I, I don't know if that's I don't know if it's fake talk. I don't probably is fake talk. I don't know. Um, but if what I heard of a Bad Boys Five is looking to happen, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, guys, let's just leave it like this. Let's have a great sequel. Let's put four of these joints in a box and be able to watch all four great movies. Yeah. And let's leave it like this. You know Hold what I'm saying? What do you mean? But no more. I don't. I don't. Oh, the reason no. why I don't want to see another one because. I look. I seen. We all seen how much trouble Martin had trying to play that role. I think to have wait. Don't make us wait that long to have another role. Martin is gonna be crawling. He ain't gonna be doing it. it ain't gonna be the same bad boys. He ain't gonna be running and hitting Will. And he not gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of motherfucking stunt <laughs> dummies. And we gonna catch that when we do the freeze frame and we see it's another motherfucker there. Like, let's not. So you good with the te- te- you good with the technology then? Like, I'm yeah. I'm good with whatever words you just said. Yeah, that that's a series of four instead of like a trailer, a trilogy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, good with trilogy. <laughs> I'm I'm good with this, bro. This is beautiful. I can watch all four of these back to back. 
I could watch all 40s in one day and, and I'll be great. You give me a okay. five, I think you're going to go a little bit too deeper. Then you're going to try to create a new storyline and I ain't trying to do it. The, the Mars going to be a grandfather and then you try to, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, it might yeah. work, it might you not. You never who know knows? what you want. Listen, man, you yeah, never, you never know, know what you want and you get it, bro. Yeah, yeah, who knows? All man. I know it, is I, that it's, if, if it's done well. Hey, listen, if Lethal Weapon and all those other joints can give you five, we let's keep going, bro, until right. people not watching, yeah. bro. I mean, yeah. I do want to see them. Well. I do yeah. want to see them. So, I, shout out to Me them. personally, I think if it's working, Fast and Furious is shame. Right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you bro, get what I'm saying? <laughs> um, last shout out before we move on. Shout out to all the guest appearances. And we're not mm. going to say their names. Y'all got to go watch the movie. Gotcha. Shout out to all the guest appearances that popped up in this movie just for a just for a scene and you never seen him again yeah but yeah. this shit felt like it felt like summer jam when somebody bring out some the uh, summer jam with friends that's yeah. what this shit felt like so it, shout out to everybody that popped up a mm -hmm. lot of people was a part of this they gave a lot of people opportunities to be actors and play roles so this was fire this was fire but a question about that do you think that was royal reaching out because of a situation or he did that for the benefit of the movie because that that if he has a lot of because now it puts you in a position where like it almost makes you pick a side without you even realizing it what you mean from from who so will smith so like i don't i haven't seen it but if you're saying he got a lot of guest features that in his movie that that made the movie kind of kind of helped in sense it wasn't like useless guest features right so nah. they kind of make a doesn't doesn't make them pick a side because they were in a will smith movie nah, so nah, nah. nah you know why so um without getting too deep you know will smith for me this is me speaking will smith loves music he loves music okay. and will smith brung the some, the, some music hip-hop into okay. this but it's people that jonah lucas john lucas fuck with will for mad long yeah. That's one of his favorite, favorite people yeah. in the world. He got a song about you know him. Saying? <laughs> but before they even before they even did a song together. No, he got a song couldn't... about Will before he did Oh, yeah, song yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. So right, right. like to, for, for, for Jonah to have that relationship with Will and for that to be like one of his one of his role models. And then to watch them in the studio together cook up some music on the outside. And it's like, yo, yeah. Jonah brought him into his world, and now Will brought him to, into his world. Okay, fine, it's like fine the music can't leave will smith and that's one thing i like about will you're okay. not just going to get the actor he's going to give you everything but he opened up doors and that door for i'm a jonah lucas fan so for me mm. i love to see that i was like oh shit, i might get my nigga joan on on the next um on the next um sh on chai on shy you know what i'm saying in chicago yeah. It, yeah it just it was that type of opportunity so okay. um that's why i said like with friends this was fire this was fire gotcha gotcha